Can you believe it? It's week eight of the high school football season. And for the Brainerd Warriors, how big was that win at Moorhead Friday? Well, they're all alone at the top of the section. And with a win tonight, a first round bye for playoffs. Also means another game at Warriors Stadium. Just need to beat Sartell St. Stephen tonight. And they were hungry from the kickoff. Joe Stolsky under center. He'll take it himself and goes all the way. Touchdown, Warriors. That'll be a common theme for the night. Also stout defensively, Max Zimmerman forces a fumble here. Warriors jump on it and take over the next drive. It's that guy, Charlie Gears. He finds Pater and the home team is smelling that by. And finally, it's Devin Stuckey in the backfield and he takes the care of the end zone for six more. Warriors are your top seed for section 8-5A. They end the regular season with a shutout win. 54 to nothing. Lumberjacks with their regular season home finale tonight hosting St. Cloud Tech. And they have themselves a gigantic weapon outside. 6-7 gopher commit Brevin Spamford to throw it in his area and he'll do the rest just to tower. But Midgito, they have a pretty good receiver of their own, Ryan Bieberdorf. This one from Jake Bieberg. He somehow, com somehow comes down with it and cuts it to two scores. But when you have span four, it's just tough to defend. A couple seconds before half, this one the killer. Over the defender for six more. Bemidji drops the finale, but they're back into action for the playoffs next week against Sartell St. Stephen, round one at home. Big matchup in nine, man. Number three, Stephen Argyle at number nine, Nevis. Storm come out ready to play on the road. Stony Spildy breaks loose of the secondary. Down the sidelines to the house, 12 0 visitors, but Tigers would respond. Jack DeWolf finds Thomas Worley on the outside. Big gain, and Nevis is inside the red zone. And a couple plays later, DeWolf, he'll call his own number. Makes a couple guys miss. Into the end zone for the touchdown, in and out of traffic. All Tigers after this. How about this win to end the regular season? 42 20 over number three. They finish 7 and 1 on the year. A section 8 2 way battle. War Road at Bagley. First quarter, Warriors driving, but a bad pitch. Ball is loose. Flyers jump on it, but they can't take advantage. Next drive for Row Road. Finally breaks through second quarter. Spencer Musgrove breaks loose up the middle, and they're threatening inside the 20. Then later in the drive, Tristan Johnson. He's going to take it himself. The QB sneak breaks the plane for the score. Warriors hold on in the second half, 13-8. They finish the season 7-1. Royalton number 10 this week in 2A. They close the season with KMS. First quarter we go. Warriors, Royals driving early. Riley Smyja takes it in to give them the 7-0 lead. The next Royalton drive. It's Cole Wetland. The handoff, he'll take it 64 yards for the easy touchdown. Royals just piling it on early with two impressive drives. The offense, a well-oiled machine. Then Gavin Suska, he'll take the snap later. Drops back and finds Zach Gottwald over the middle. Tallied in for six more in the scorebook. All Royalton in this one, 35-0 to end their regular season. Finally, Grand Rapids looking for their third win tonight at Duluth Denfeld. Late second quarter, Thunderhawks up two scores. Play action, but Brennan Moreland's pass is picked by Avante Williams. What a catch. Even hurdles a defender on the return, but the ensuing drive would stall. Grand Rapids then goes back to work in the third. A little defense of their own. Eric Steer says, I'll take that, and an escort to the end zone for a pick six. Thunderhawk cruise on the road in the finale. 27-7 is your final. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.